this Mercedes. Um, customer lost the key. Doesn't have another one, obviously, because I'm towing it. Um, and unfortunately, there's no shift lock release on these cars, which sucks. Um, so we're gonna have to drag it using the skates. And and I can't use my dollies because the hydraulic piston, uh, the hydraulic cylinder on the car, on the truck for the wheel lift, has a crack on the hard line, so it's leaking. And uh, I don't have it out right now, so I can't use it on the freaking wheel lift. Uh, I got no cylinder in there, which no cylinder means I can't use the wheel lift to put it with the wheel lift and dollies because that would have been my preferred method but unfortunately like I said I don't have the wheel lift right now skates in the back because these suck I don't like these orange ones you see the markings they grip on the ground too much they're kind of soft the green Wreckmaster ones are great because the plastic is super hard compared to this
tree stumps in the way. Crap. straight up. The reason for two snatch boxes is so that it pulls straight like this. So that one will pull that way. And then that one will make sure the line stays straight.
Getting it off is so much easier. Sometimes the skate's gonna come out. It's fine, we'll just go nice and easy, make sure it doesn't kick up.
guys. So we'll load it up. I'm gonna take my pictures. Sorry, honey, I gotta call you back. Uh, take my pictures and then go drop it off. So I'll see you at the drop. those dolly the uh collins dolly carrier i'd have no issue
on. Come on, skate, come out. That's two. All right, so I put the skates like this, right? Now I got the winch up there. So now we want it so that the skate, when it gets here, it pops out. Now, when I drop the car down, the tire will be on the ground. I can pull the bed up and leave the back skates. So that's how I always do these. And I know somebody's asking me, because they see me do the Mercedes Benz, but it was two wheel drive, so I only had to skate the back. So here's one on the Formatic that is the second part, and it needs all four skates. So for the person that requested that video, I don't remember who it was, but this one's for you. All right, so now let's just open that up. saying about the whole thing with the dollies so the cylinder is out right now because it's getting repaired as you can see the lines are dangling so if I had the if the wheel lift was working then I could use the wheel lift and dollies and be done with the whole process all right so the only thing you have to be careful with is when you're pulling it in sometimes it's gonna shift on you which is why I leave the cable on and I don't take it off to later uh, in certain situations um, sometimes I like to take the cable off but in this case I don't want to because if I have if it comes too far this way then I have to snatch block it that way so. Walking the truck at this point. Walking the bed is basically bringing the bed in close, dropping it down, tilting the bed as if you're going to tilt the bed down like this. And then it basically picks up the rear of the truck off the ground. And then you slide the bed out as if you were sliding the bed out from the truck and it walks the truck forward. I personally don't like to do this a lot, but in certain situations I do it. And then I just bring it down as I go out. Spool this so I can fix that cable. Um, I just tilt the bed, that, bring it out. You see how it's shifting over, which is the one thing I hate about the all wheel drives. Right. I'll walk it one more time. So now we're free spooled already. So now what we do is you see how it still wants to come back a little bit. You could always put a block in front of the wheel like a wheel chalk. Uh, so just bring it out like that. Go nice and slow. Nice and slow. Until they pop out. Alright, so right here now, you tilt the bed up a little bit. Because once you get it to a certain point, the tire is gonna be at the edge of the bed and the skate's gonna drop take the skate move it out of the way and you just do that all around all 
right, it pops out on both sides and then that's it, that's done. And now you can put the bed down and take the bed off from underneath it. Okay, that's it. So now you're on the ground like that. The car is going to be on the ground. And then as you bring your bed in, you want to tilt it down because you want to keep it away from the car. At this point, I'll just disconnect this real quick. Then I'll move the truck so we're not talking to anybody. It's just gonna beat the horn. It's alright, it'll go off in a bit. So they have another bridle like this that I gotta get. I think Zip sells it. Um, and what it is, this hook is not here. They have a, a hook like this, but it's not twisted. Like this is twisted, so it'll be flat. And it's on this end, so it would be like this, all right? And then the other end that would be on this end would be a loop. No, uh, no ring or anything like that. It's just a loop. And then you would uh, basically, you know, this would be like this. And then the other end that would have the loop will go this way. And what I like about it is that sometimes these twisted hooks, they're a pain to get through like between the control arm, the tie rod, and all these other different things because they're twisted and they're big and bulky. The other one is just a loop like this. So it's easier to go through certain things. Also, if you get a long enough one and you have to drag a car like this, um, it has a loop. So you can put it through the wheel and then put the other one through the rim, loop it to itself, and then pull it up that way. Um, I never try to go like through the rims like that. Um, you know, I don't want to scratch anything. So, but yeah, that's pretty much that. So now we just got to pull all stuff away and go head out to the city to go get a Mustang. All right, so that's it. I'm going to put all this stuff away. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see that boring stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Well, not really hanging out, but thanks for watching. Um, as always, uh, if you don't mind, give the video a thumbs up, smash that notification bell. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And uh, that's pretty much it.